In this video, we're going to be installing another useful library from NGRX called NGRX Router Store. And this will allow us to connect our Angular router with our state. So by the end of the video, we're going to have a new state in here. Like we got a auth state and a customer support state, we'll have a router state. And this router state is going to have a bunch of information about our routes. Like for example, if you ever want to grab your parameter, like an ID or something from the, the route, you could do that. Or in this case, we're going to be setting up our debugger, the time travel debugger here. When we navigate around the website, we can come back here, hit play, and it will update the view depending on the router state. And that is just a couple of ways of using the information you store within the store for your router state. So before we do this, though, we need to install the library. If we go back to the home page, go down to module 5, video 31, and click on documentation. And this is really good documentation on the router store. Like, for example, I was saying when you create selectors to grab information from the route state. And we'll be doing that later on in the next couple modules. But for now, we'll need to install it. Go to the installation page and click on ng add. Copy this one. Now let's paste this in the terminal. In the terminal, paste and install. After installing the packages, it should have made a couple changes to your application. And if we open on up the app module file, I'll jump into the application and the app module file. And then it pulls in a module for, for us from NGRX router store right here. Then it automatically imports it for us as well. Here we can add in more configuration by adding it within an object and we'll, we will be reviewing that in the next module. For example, you could change the name of your router state by adding it in the configurations right here. But for now, I'll leave it at the default and I'll remove this. And then there's one more thing you want to do or nothing's going to work. Uh, I'll just make sure I save this file. We need to tell our store about this new state that we're adding to the store. If you go into the store folder, open up the index file, and then inside here, we're going to add in a new feature in our store. Before we do that, let's import our router store library. I'll add that right here. So I'm bringing in everything from our router store, and whenever we want access to anything in this library, we just call on the from router. And then here, we'll bring in our router state. And this is very important that you name this correctly. It's called router. If you name this anything else, uh, you'll get an error unless you change it within your config right here and you can do that actually but for now i'm just going to leave it as the default so router then we'll call on our from router and what you're looking for is the router reducer state and i'll make sure i close it up correctly and then we need to add in it in our reducer so i'll add it in down here and again it's called router very important and it's from our router and now what you're looking for is the router reducer and there it is right there and that's pretty much it for telling our application about the router store. Now we want to make sure we restart the application because we made a change to, to the app module. I'll open up our terminal, shut down the application, clear everything out, and then npm run dev. Now inside of our store, we should have a state called router. And this is very useful because let's say you want to pass in a product ID into the route. You can later on grab that from the, the router state in your store now. And also this gives us a reducer. It gives us a bunch of actions. And if you look on the left here, you can see all the router store actions that are automatically being dispatched for us when we navigate throughout the website. Now I went ahead and did some shopping. So if I click on the play in the time traveler debugger tool here, we could see what I've been up to on the website. And here I log in shortly. So I log in. Then I go shopping. And I check out a really cool product. And that's very useful if you're trying to debug what's going on with your navigation in the application. Now in the next video, let's check out how to use meta reducers.